Bruce, I think large corporates uh, have, have in many instances failed on the simple test of understanding what business is about. Business is simply about bringing someone with a need to someone able to answer that need together and have them exchange at an appropriate agreed price. That's it. So many large corporates have become about busyness, which is about the internal cogs in the wheel. And if, we trans if you dissect the business, the activity, the exco agendas, the opcos, are all about internal busyness yeah. mm. as opposed to that moment of business. Create so another I, steering committee. Exactly. Committee. And I think we look for excuses in saying that big business can't respond the way Lucian's business has. Mm. And I say that's wrong. Well, one yeah. of the geniuses of the Virgin brand, we brought this up uh, in, in an earlier program, was you know, br as, as a business gets too big, it kind of gets, okay, fine, you, you're getting too big, you're getting too self-important, let's chop you in half because you know, you, you're performing too many different functions. Those guys do that function, these guys do this. Excellent, let's move on now and carry on. You create manageable bite-size uh, pieces of a business, perhaps, under maybe a broader balance. And, and also, you know, co complacency is an absolute killer, and, and, mm. and I, I'm... I'm so firmly of the opinion that, that keep everyone uncomfortable all the time. You know, don't change things. As soon as people get comfortable, change it. Do something differently because as soon as you start seeing comfort set and complacency follows. And the, but the moment you have somebody who's uncomfortable in that situation where things are uncomfortable, they're wrong for the organization. And that works in a process of natural attrition. Only the culture is, is yeah. that. Mm. Yeah. Lucian, I tell people that come sailing with me, if you're comfortable, you're sitting in the wrong place. <laughs> 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 and perhaps but, that should be so in business as well. But, but, but does business need to be uncomfortable? You know, uh, you know there's, a, there's a level of, of comfort, which, which means we're all pulling in the same direction. The, the sails are up, we're, all, we're going the right way. We're crashing through the waves, but we're still at least all pulling in the same uh, direction. Uh, personal opinion? I, 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 don't, I don't respect comfort. There's nothing about comfort that, that, that turns me on or excites me. Comfort is complacency. I, I think it depends on the vision and the ambition that you have within your organization. If, if you want to shoot for the stars, what's the point of being comfortable? Because you're going to carry on doing what you did yesterday and you're going to be s sailing into the sunset. Comfort means that there is energy and there is capability within your organization that can go to the next level. It's and, being and, not utilized. And, 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 it's, and it's not being utilized. And the, and the trick is how do you create in, an, in a corporate sense that level of discomfort in the organization to continuously explore new things. And maybe that's something that we can address at some point is the organizational structure that you need in a business to ensure that you're successful. Well,